Okay, sure, we have those nights where we simply can't get the full 6, 7, 8 or more hours of sleep on a daily basis. But should you be worried if you make this a regular habit? Well, scientifically, it's been known for a while and linked to a wide range of health problems which include obesity, high blood pressure, and heart problems. So it's been recorded that up to 70 million Americans have a sleep disorder, according to the American Sleep Association. Also, some staggering statistics is 40% of people fall asleep during the day at least once a month unintentionally, and almost 5% of drivers have nodded off behind the wheel once. Now, besides the address health issues I mentioned associated with lack of sleep, it also affects a person psychologically. Yes, studies have found people with their emotions being off alignment, often with a short fuse and also a feeling of loneliness. The more sleep deprived you are, the less social you become and others pick up on this subconscious cue for you to be left alone. It's also that vicious cycle that may be a significant contributing factor with the public health crisis with loneliness. Another huge concern with the lack of sleep can age your heart. Prior studies have demonstrated an association with cardiovascular risk factors and cardiovascular events. Dr. Greg Fanero, a cardiologist with the David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California and Los Angeles concluded that sleep duration that is either too short puts you at a greater risk at a longer term. Now the lowest risk and best amount of sleep was to have 7 hours per day of sleep. Shorter sleep duration may contribute to cardiovascular event risk through effects on metabolic and endocrine functions such as inflammation and vascular damage. Next is the link with high blood pressure and vascular inflammation associated with poor sleep quality. Studies have linked the quality of your sleep with high blood pressure and heart disease. So even if you sleep a healthy amount of hours, it isn't enough if the quality of your sleep isn't up to par. So those who have sleep disturbances like taking longer to fall asleep or waking up a few times during the night were significantly more likely to have high blood pressure than those who fall asleep quickly or those that don't wake up during the night. Now deep sleep is very important for your health and brain since it goes through a detoxification process. During this deep sleep phase, your brain's glymphatic system is activated, allowing it to detoxify and eliminate accumulated waste products, including amyloid beta proteins, which is a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Some basic tips to ensure you get a good night's sleep would be the following. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Support the channel and drop a comment. Let me know if you have any issues sleeping or tips you can share with the others. Don't forget to support the channel by liking and commenting. Share the video if you can. And if you're new, please subscribe if you found this video interesting. Also, don't forget to turn the notification on once you subscribe so you know instantly once I upload a new video. Thanks guys and I'll see you then. Take care.